Welcome back. I'm Megan Julie Bennett, and this is your CBJ Crosscheck. The Columbus Blue Jackets have now played six of their eight preseason exhibition games, marking training camp more than three quarters of the way through. This means time is of the essence for our young team to start making big moves. Coach John Tortorella said time and again not to read into preseason too heavily. He's only looking for these games as an opportunity for players to make their case and ultimately earn their spot in the final 23-man roster. While some players have fared well, the Blue Jackets are still waiting for others to catch up. There's no set number of available jobs or roster spots, mind you, but management and the coaching staff want to be forced into difficult decisions. And right now, that simply isn't the case. Uh, I think we want more, for sure. I think uh, um, you want to see them separate themselves uh, for, for those final couple spots, or you want guys to, to, to do that. And I think, again, it, it kind of ebbs and flows from game to game right now and day-to-day -day in practice. So, um, you know, we got a few more games here to play. we got some practices. So I think urgency for some of these guys, it's time to, to, to try and tr separate yourself from these other guys. The pressure is on, certainly for some more than others. Each of the players remaining on the current roster knows what position they're in. The Blue Jackets have a few guys the coaches are still looking to make a standout, two of them being last year's Calder Cup champions, MVP Oliver Bjorkstrand and Lucas Sedlak. Both players made quite the impression at the AHL affiliate, the Lake Erie Monsters, each acquiring 16 points during the playoff run, Bjorkstrand taking the title of leading goal scorer, with Sedlak trailing by just one goal. Bringing things back to training camp, both of these young guys have high expectations awaiting them. Sunday during Game 5, at home against the Penguins, Oliver Bjorkstrand showed initiative but failed to put the puck where he wanted, missing all four of his attempted shots. Flipped that to Tuesday night's game in Nashville where he was all over the place in a great way. Bjorkstrand opened scoring with just 1 minute 36 seconds into the game. P.K. Subban turned the puck over and the kid was on it, walking down the right side and snapping a quick shot of Arena's left shoulder for a 1-0 lead. Bjorkstrand also lent a helping hand to fellow youngster Zach Warinski in the second period. Bjorkstrand curled up high and hit Warinski with a one-time pass and a low bullet shot went right by Rene on the stick side. Warinski's first goal of the preseason made it a 2-0 game on the power play for the Jackets. Uh, as I said, we know we can be the best guys in the AHL, so now we can do it here, right? That's what we're all waiting for, buddy. Sedlak has had a slow start to say the least in camp so far in Tuesday night's game, and he skated under the radar once again, tailing just a few hits and face-off wins against Nashville. Lucas Sedlak is not the kind of player to be recognized by how well he plays, but he does all the little things right and proved to have a strong shot last season. I have to play my game every game, you know. I'm not the most skilled guys out there, so I just have to work hard every time, and no matter what I play with, if I play with Birky, I still have to play my game. I can't adjust to his game because he has a little bit more skill than me. So I just have to work hard and, uh, you know, try to work for him. And yeah, same today. I have to just work hard, skate hard, and that's my game. So I have to do that. The rosters we see from here on out will be darn close to what we'll see in opening night, and that's the beginning of regular season. Let's hope our rookies have what it takes to get the jacket season started off on the right skate. For all your latest scores, news, and updates, don't forget to check out scoreonair.com. I'm Megan Julia Bennett. See you next week.